Hello everyone, this is Spice Technologies Worldwide. Uh, I would like to thank you very much for the support that you're really showing uh, to us. We're now to 340 subscribers, but also we have more than a thousand viewers for the last video that we posted on this channel. Thank you everybody for keeping in touch uh, in the comment section, but also keeping support into this channel. So today we are going into we are going to look into Microsoft Word, but specifically inserting the formulas and equations, which uh, it has happened to be a, a critical. Uh, subject to some of people so today we are going to look into a few examples and I'm going to share with you some tips on how to consider some of the things before inserting an equation into Microsoft Word so thank you everybody and uh, let's get started so first of all I would like you to observe these formulas that is the formulas that we are going to deal with today uh, with those examples so uh, one of the things uh, that you need to consider before inserting a formula into Microsoft Word you really need to consider the complexity of the equation when I say complexity of the equation in terms of arrangement you know some equations are just very complex in the arrangement and I leaving out on how to calculate and maybe going around the formula with the numbers but of just the arrangement of it inserting into uh, Microsoft Word can be a bit challenging because at the end of the day you have to deliver a well aligned uh, sized but also a well labeled uh, equation that gives clarity to where you're going to present that formula so we, without uh, more explanation i'm going to go through examples as you can see so let's start with the uh, quadratic formula which is one of the very famous formulas people use uh, in physics in mathematics and all that now i i just want you to uh watch just like the tips i gave you so we're going to start with uh the top one this formula right here like I told you before you have uh, one of the things that you need to consider while inserting the formula the general arrangement of the formula before diving into specifics of how they have been arranged so I'll just show you how I can insert this the the top formula into Microsoft Word and uh, let's see how we do it and then I'll explain later thank you Uh, so everybody now you see how I just insert this formula it's, it's pretty simple actually because you know this is just one line formula no complexity no ups and downs no a lot of you know square roots and under roots so like I told you before you know checking out the formula you just need to study the general arrangement before you dive into specifics so as the general arrangement of this formula it's pretty simple actually now we are going to look at the second example we are going to this uh, so let's see how it's been created and I'll explain it So 
so like I told you before, uh, a general uh, arrangement of the formula, as you can see. Uh, in matter of fact, if you could just end here, if you reach here, according to the general arrangement of this formula, it is like you have already finished with it, uh, actually, because you see, it has three parts. You have this, the left part, which is just a single element, and then to the right part, you just have the upper part and the lower part, uh, regardless of uh, rot of elements that you see in the upper part. But you can see it's just uh, a very basic arrangement. And this is what we have here. We have a left, we have the right part, which has upper and lower. Uh, let's just keep inserting and you will see how simple I'm telling you this is. Now, another thing in Microsoft Excel, actually, you see, um, Microsoft uh, Word simplifies for us uh, as you keep on typing and inserting the formula it detects that what you want to write resembles a certain uh, constant a certain formula that is known so it gives you the suggestion as you can see here you have the whole formula just resembling exactly with our formula what we want to enter now for the sake of blending we'll keep on insulting so as you can check it out and maybe insert yours uh, in the in your own work coursework and everything so let's just proceed for the sake of learning thank you Perfect. Now, uh, everyone, uh, you, you, you see, uh, so we have uh, our whole formula. We have just inserted the replica of the formula into Microsoft Word. Now, like I told you before, you know, things that you really need to consider. Inserting a formula into Microsoft Word isn't, isn't difficult. You just have to consider uh, some of things before you start inserting the formula into Microsoft Word. As you can see, what you really need to be considering, like I said before, the first thing you have to consider the general arrangement of the formula before diving into specifics. When I say specifics, in uh, element specifics actually, uh, for example, if you consider that this formula has three parts uh, you have the left part but also you have the right part which has the upper part and the lower part if you start now going into specifics as you see the upper part has a square root yeah but also inside the square root uh, it has the square uh, elements with the square uh, yeah, but a number with letters that is normal. Yeah, so uh, before diving into these squares and the letters and the numbers and the square roots, you just have to know we have the upper part, the lower part, and the it part. So if you go with that approach, then it will be easy for you to create any kind of formula, any kind of arrangement that comes with the formula it will be easy for you to go with it so you it's easy if you just analyze uh, the formulas and equations into that approach you check the general arrangement of the formula and then you dive into specifics yeah then it's going to be easy for you now I think 
it's enough for today i could go further because we have a lot of formulas down here yeah but i uh, just wanted to share with you a little tip that uh, myself i thought maybe if we share it we'll acquire the knowledge and maybe you let me know what you think about this and uh, in the comment section so that we can see uh, we can keep on uh, improving what we share as tips uh, to people who support this channel thank you everyone and uh, let me wish you a very happy new year and uh, 2025 uh, let it be a year of success to you all thank you for your support and see you in the next video thank you very much